Hello and welcome to another episode of our Ask the Expert series here at Boat How To. I'm Jan Attenstedt and we're talking to Nigel Calder. Hi. Today we have another question for you from you guys. I have a 35 year old boat with a universal M18 diesel engine. The manual says the maximum RPM is 3200, but the most it will do out of gear is 2700, confirmed with a photosensor tech. It also stalls out below 1000 RPM and I get an accumulation of black suit on the transom. I've replaced the injectors with new ones, replaced the fuel filters, changed the oil and oil filter, inspected the exhaust elbow and air intake for blockage and tried fresh fuel from a jerry can, but I still can't cure the, this. A compression test showed compression is right on spec. The engine starts right up and otherwise seems to run okay. Any idea what's going on? Well, I mean, to me, it sounds like he did already a lot of things, which we also teach in our engine maintenance course. So really good, but it still didn't solve the problem. So what's your idea, Nigel? Well, I have a couple of thoughts. It could be a fuel starvation issue, but it would have to be pretty serious uh, for it uh, not to get up to full RPM in idle because it doesn't take much fuel to get there. But that's the easiest one to check for I and mean, he, he's done a number of things already but there are some areas that people forget uh, occasionally tank builders will put a filter screen on the pickup tube on the fuel in the fuel tank and if that's fouled up then that can really screw up the, the fuel flow uh, the other area two areas where people always forget to look mm -hmm. is on many primary filters there's a check valve on the inlet and that can get plugged up with crud and then once you get past the primary filter, you come to the lift pump. And in the top of most lift pumps, there's a little filter screen. And that can get plugged. And I've known people spend thousands of dollars troubleshooting this kind of a problem and rebuilding transmissions because they thought there was excessive resistance or whatever. And all there was was a plugged up filter screen in the lift pump. So I would do check all those things first because that's the easy stuff and it doesn't cost any money. It's just time. Uh, then if it's a if it's a fuel problem, the black smoke is indic indicative of a fuel problem. The injectors have been changed, the compression's okay, um, but the fuel pump itself, the injection pump, hasn't been looked at. Uh, it, it could be an injection pump issue. You could have a, one or more defective um, injectors because the pump's not operating properly. Uh, but that's going to get expensive um, just to have the pump looked at, and especially if it needs to be rebuilt, and then you have to retime it when you put it back. So it requires a certain amount of expert knowledge to do that, which we incidentally haven't covered in our diesel course. The other area, which is totally separate, where we could have a problem, this is a very old engine. There could be a buildup of sludge inside the engine. The speed control in an engine is a governor. And on these older engines, it's a mechanical device where you have fly weights. When the engine is running, the uh, centrifugal force pulls the weights out against the spring. And, and when you set the throttle for a given speed, there's a, there's a balance between the spring and the weights. Well, if there's a bunch of crud in there, that whole mechanism is fouled up. It's gonna get stiff and it's not gonna operate properly. And you will get quite likely the two problems he's got, which is problems at low speeds and problems at high speeds. Uh, the governor itself is not expensive to uh, look at and fix, but it may be difficult to get to. Uh, so it would be well worth looking in the manual, seeing how hard it is to get to that governor. And if it's not too difficult, pulling that out once again, before you start spending a whole bunch of money on the injection pump, take a look at the governor and see if that's a problem. All right, well, thanks Nigel for um, your take on that. And if you will want to learn more about diesel engine maintenance and troubleshooting, check out our brand new marine diesel engine maintenance course at boathowto.com. See you soon. <laughs>